Scott, baby. Let me get a cigarello. What the dilly though, y'all? Joe Quan, the hooligan, your friendly neighborhood rap dealer. Today, I would like to discuss quitting your job to pursue music. But first, I've got to take my aunt to pay her property taxes. <laughs> Joe Quan, the hooligan. The whole rotisserie chicken, boy. And please don't forget the cornbread. It killed cornbread. He wasn't doing nothing. I ain't know y'all got down like this here at Imperial Market. We only got groceries, me and my wife. <laughs> my my aunt, she always gets the chicken. But I thought that was all y'all had. I ain't I ain't never even knew that y'all had this big kitchen. We ain't even been on this side except for like to down there to get some milk. But we ain't never been like on this side. See? I got the common thing. Yep. Trying out a new camera mount on an old phone. I hope you don't mind. Should you quit your job to pursue a career in music? I'm not here to answer this question for you. That decision is yours. The goal of this video is to give the best kind of guidance to anyone asking that question that I can based on my experience. It's become quite American to look down on the nine to five. We glamorize and glorify gaudiness while the productive individual is shunned upon. The non-productive person gets popular approval. Like you'll remember a Dave Chappelle skit, Whack Arnold's. It was a parody of the old McDonald's commercial, Calvin Gets a Job. In the commercial, we thought it was quite funny, which it was when Calvin started to get made fun of by the hood niggas and the hood rat bitch who wouldn't give him no pussy because he worked at Whack Arnold's and subconsciously we're siding with non-productive people compared to a productive person who's actually doing something in life not knowing his goals not knowing his ambitions and why he went to whack arnold suit work in the first place now i personally know of people who have went from working the grill to assistant manager to part franchise owner at mcdonald's working there but you have to be a special type of individual to achieve that. So one must ask oneself when considering quitting your job to pursue a music career, are you that special type of go-getter? Will you get out and get it? Cause if you're not, you might as well just be fucking a fat bitch who cooks and cleans and you leave her to go with a skinny bitch who doesn't cook and clean. You want to fuck the skinny bitch and eventually she gets fat. So now you're stuck with another fat bitch but this one don't cook and clean. What is that really worth your time? A couple of years ago, I was working at a restaurant in downtown Detroit. Selling CDs on the streets just wasn't taking care of the month to month as the same as going to this job at this time. Of course, I had scheduling conflicts with that job, trying to do shows and trying to work that job at the same time. One time I just called in sick, did a show at the old Miami. Now at the old Miami, I probably made 25 bucks selling CDs there rather than the 60 bucks guaranteed I'd have made that night working the ship. Was this really worth my time? At the time, no, I needed the money rather than the exposure. Sometimes we work based on passion and exposure is a passionate covet, if you will. And sometimes we need the money more than we need the exposure. If you're considering quitting your job to pursue music because you think maybe it's glitzy and glamoury, maybe you should reconsider. Maybe you're not the kind of person to make something of yourself rather than be a part of something that you already believe is something. It's something that one must be dedicated to for sure. If you know for sure, you got drive, ambition, problem solving skills, good work ethic, quit your job. Because you can get a job a dime a dozen. You can only get one dream. Until next time, folks, Joe Quan the Hooligan, your friendly neighborhood rap dealer. Consider your next move. Make the best decision in your interest. How do you turn this thing off? This is a Joe Quan the Hooligan production. Joe Quan the Hooligan.